Yes, guys, Gina, listen, I just want to say thank you for all the support, the super thanks, the likes, the comments, the eyeballs on, the views that we get is phenomenal. Thank you for the support. We are building something special. This is our channel, our community, a tactical gaming channel like no other, grounded in authenticity for vets, by vets, and anyone else who's interested in tactical gaming done right, right? Get in our Discord, become part of the community. We are launching now GLID Community Driven Armor Ops. The point is to utilize the community and start putting on the channel, the main channel, proper, authentic armor ops. I've got mission builders, mission scripters who will get things up and running, who will build that for us. I've got my cameraman slash editor, Jakes. He's teaming up with a guy called Seb Sin. Seb Sin, check out his YouTube channel. The boy is so talented. He is a Norwegian Navy military rank. Um, he has now, I think he's out of the military and his passion is camera work within a tactical gaming environment. So give the guy some love, give him some support, Seb Sin. They are joined by a lady uh, called Hot Cuppa. She's a videographer. She knows what she's doing. She is super talented. Check out the last uh, Ready or Not video. Check out her camera shots, her angles. She's helping us a lot as well. So I've got a good crew um, with me now who is helping me make our videos stand out amongst the crowd, right? So I'm very proud of that. We've got a good team. Get yourself in the Discord, right? Make yourself known to Gruntcom. We are looking for people to help flesh out, build and create our armor videos and storylines and become part of the team. Play the games. Get yourself into these videos that will make the cut onto the YouTube channel. Uh, um, so yeah, guys, really excited about this. This announcement, we're releasing the first small video now, and then another big one will follow, and then they will keep coming. Every month, or every couple of months, we'll start putting them out. They will follow a storyline, and we will build up to a climax. Boom, and then hit a new storyline after that. So I'm really excited for that. That will be on top of all the regular GDIT content as well. So yeah, again, thank you for all the support. Can't do it without you guys. You know, the super thanks, the likes, the comments, the eyes on. You guys are everything. We're building a tactical channel from the ground up. It's absolutely epic. I've been invited to a AAA studio as well to help them in a workshop, new game they've got in development. So really excited about that as well. And you know what, guys, we can't do that, right? Without the traction and the mass kind of the, the, the community we're building, right? If, if, if we were not 210,000 strong at this point, they won't ask me to join, right? It, it just means there is a real hunger, a real need for proper tactical games played in the right way. So game companies are switching onto it. Um, so if you guys, you know, keep showing the support, stay with us, we will have a real influence in the world of gaming and tactical gaming, which guys like me, or your military vets, we love it. We absolutely love it. It's a nice, you know, sitting down, playing games with your friends and doing it in a tactical way. It's a real, it relaxes us. It's, it's, it's a way to relive the good old days in the military, you know, from home. You know, what's better than that? So, um, you know, and make new friends and, you know, the civvy, Operators, which is joining us, the bison guys, civilians, no military background, you know, for some, for, you know, for whatever reason, not everyone was fortunate enough to join the military, medical reasons, whatever, or just gone to uni, got a job. It's, 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 it's you know, whatever life, uh, uh, you know, the, the path you've, you've chosen, doesn't mean you can't be in love with the military, love tactical gaming, and everything about that environment. So we are really uh, uh, appreciative of the guys joining us, getting themselves in the Discord, putting themselves forward for refresher training, tactical training whatever courses the guys offer in the Discord, and then ultimately joining us as Bison Operators in the NJT Vigil. You know, a um, couple of good guys, they glitch, Van, Goblin's Cave, there's, there's, there's loads of them dropping in, so I am really happy about that, and um, you know, together we stand, you know, as the JT Vigil logo says. So, I mean, guys, I'm really proud of what we're building. I'm stoked, so uh, thank you. Thank you for everything, and if you guys want to show any extra support, pick up some GLIP merch, links in the description of the video, guys. Love you. Keep it out. We have been tasked with neutralizing enemy personnel at a factory north of Kavala, where they are planning to start large-scale weapons production. This factory is the only one of its kind in the region suitable to produce weapons at that scale. This will be Objective 2. Objective 1 is a small compound to the north, they will surely try to reinforce the factory once it's under attack. There is also a small QRF element close by that can provide support to both the factory and the compound. The plan is by Overwatch to attack the compound first, drawing the QRF into the area. Then for the assault team to engage them from the flanks. Once the compound is secure, you are to commandeer enemy vehicles and approach the factory covertly.
assault on Overwatch teams or to disembark close by and assault the factory once in position. Sierra One will be on standby for any support. Any questions? Good. Good luck, gentlemen.
this is Kingpin. Yeah. Kingpin assault, send it. We're moving in from your southwest. We're going to be going up the hill towards the north bit. Acknowledge, be advised. Alpha, Bravo, recommend you guys take up security east to the southeast. Something that is green. The dirt. <laughs> I guess, yeah, yeah, it's the dirt. The dirt is green. Somehow the guys in the double I'm currently in the northwest of Altus, and we are in what looks like a war zone. In the early morning hours, nearby residents reported gunfire and explosion, which lasted for more than 30 minutes and resulted in the fire ruins of what was thought to be an abandoned factory. We have discovered that the task force, known as Vigil, currently staged at Altus International Airport, 
is responsible for the carnage behind me. They have declined to comment on the incident, but what we do know is that they have left over 15 dead or seriously wounded behind. Whether this is a legitimate combat operation or a military group acting to their own benefit remains to be seen. The following video was sent to our news station anonymously two hours after the incident and seems to be related to the attack on the factory. Vigil Task Force attacked and destroyed our compound this morning. This unprovoked aggression will not go unanswered. You will regret your action. There seems to be more to this story, and we will keep you up to date as events unfold. This is Morgan Holloway, reporting for AAN News. Hey Ford, what's up, man? Right, what are you doing here at Gate Guard? Who'd you piss off, bud? I pissed off Jeevan, man. I, I switched out his drink with Dip Spit. He's pretty pissed. So now he got me dry. It sucks. Well, I'll hook you up with something wet, but you ain't supposed to get caught doing that shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're willing to, you know, if you're heading out, you can give me a little bit of that alcohol, you know. I won't tell anybody. I owe you a favor. How's that? All right. Well, yeah, we'll take care of that in the future. Don't worry about it. I'll get you something. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I can always count on you, all right? Hey, hell yeah. Yeah, it looks like we got guys coming back from patrol. Let me open this up for them. You can go right after them, all right? All right, bud. Take it easy. All right, bro. Hey, I'm coming. I'm coming. God dang. Welcome back. Hey, boys. See you, for. See you, dude. You better keep it serial. Don't you dare say a single word, or I will strike you where it feels. You think that using her would get to me? And if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. What do we have here? Right, Motherfucker. Man. Who the fuck taught you how to drive? Your fucking mother-in-law? Like, Jesus Christ, hey, drive yo, like a fucking woman. Hey, yo, y'all all right? Lad, y'all all right? Y'all need an ambulance or anything? Yeah, I'm finna go grab my tire. I'll be right back. All right. So what happened, man? Oh, this motherfucker, he came out of the fucking nowheres and clipped me when I had the right away. Like I said, clearly a woman taught him how to drive on my way back from the fucking shops. Moonshine and everything, that's now all gone. Moonshine, uh, Grease, by God. That's the kind of connection I need. 